Welcome to Plan Migrate Win, your guide to a fast, stable, and smooth cloud adoption. My name is Kevin Downs, and on this episode, we're going to discuss how to identify issues and roadblocks early in your cloud adoption and why that's important. We'll be covering how to detect errors, slow application response times, cloud services, including scale or performance early in your migration. So you started your cloud adoption. You're actively working on migrating one or more applications to the cloud. That's great because a lot of companies struggle in the planning phase. If you're stuck in the planning phase, check out our resources in the description below to get some great tips to help you move into the migration phase of your cloud journey. As you migrate your applications to the cloud, you wanna catch and correct any unexpected behavior or outcomes as soon as possible. Detecting errors and issues related to your new cloud architecture, performance, and scale are critical. Getting the right information at the right time can mean the difference between success and failure and between a smooth or costly migration. There's a lot that goes into migrating your applications to the cloud. We're gonna focus on the monitoring aspect. There are a few steps using New Relic to quickly identify issues and roadblocks. These steps include identifying the application's components, creating a metrics list, deploying New Relic monitoring products, and setting up a dashboard. You'll want to start by identifying the components of your application that can be instrumented or monitored. These components might include the application itself, other applications that support this one, databases, external components, the cloud services involved, and the underlying infrastructure needed. One thing to note is that the deeper you instrument, the more visibility you will gain into your application. Next, identify any key corporate or business metrics or KPIs that will help you focus on what's most important. Some example metrics include availability percentage, page load time, throughput, app decks, CPU memory, disk usage, and cloud spend. Your goal is to create a collection of metrics in several categories that can be monitored and visualized. Now that you've identified the components that need to be monitored, Deploy the new Relic products required for each component. For example, you will want to monitor your applications using our APM product. For the underlying infrastructure and for the cloud integrations, you'll use our infrastructure product. And if your application has a web front end or uses a mobile app, you'll use our browser and mobile products. Next, use insights to create dashboards that display the metrics you've established as important. You are primarily looking for metrics that are highly out of scope. For example, very long response and transaction times may indicate that the cloud architecture is not well optimized. Cloud cost may also exceed normal thresholds, which may indicate an incorrectly configured autoscaler. As mentioned before, you will have the ability to monitor cloud-based metrics. Cloud integrations will pull metrics and data for the cloud services being consumed. New Relic does offer pre-built dashboards for these integrations. Within the new Relic interface, you will be able to monitor error statistics, including all errors in cloud services, such as DNS health check, serverless functions, and invocation errors, throttles. You will also be able to create alerts on any of the metrics, including those pulled by the new Relic integrations. Depending on how you plan on migrating your applications, whether a lift and shift, or as I like to call it, lift and polish, or you plan on re-architecting, for any cloud platform you choose, you are looking to identify issues related to your application, infrastructure, and the cloud services being used. Being able to determine where the issue or roadblock is will allow you to quickly overcome that issue and continue on with your cloud journey. The early detection of issues and roadblocks will allow for a quicker and smoother migration. And a quicker migration has the added benefit of helping contain costs. In other words, the earlier your instrument, the faster you can go. Thanks for watching this episode of Plan Migrate Win. And if you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button below and subscribe to get all the latest episodes right when they come out. For more details and examples on how to leverage New Relic during the different stages of your cloud adoption, check out the additional links in the description below.